Hello there, my name is Mr McCowie and I'm the Head of Maths at Aylsham High School and I'm with my second in Maths, uh, Mrs Townsend and we are going to tell you how you can support your kids in Maths this year. Okay, so very briefly, we have two topics each half term. So the first half term, which is already gone, we did algebra and averages and the one we're now in, we're going to teach the Year 7's number, which includes lots of fractions, questions and angles. Okay, at the end of each half term test, we do, we do, sorry, at the end of each half term, we do a half term test. So we do one that's just gone, which we'll talk to you about in a minute in October, one in Christmas, one around the February, March time, just one there because it's a short term. And then we have the end of year exam around Easter time. We always share the results on Twitter. And this year, we're going to email you the results as well. So you can see First of all, where your child came in their group and where that was in the, in the year group and also the topics which your child struggled on. So hopefully they'll be able to catch up a little bit by looking at the A-Star Learning website. More about the website in a minute. OK, if I can just just show the department very, very quickly on screen there, you can see that's me in the middle. That's Miss Townsend on the right hand side. And the rest of us are pretty much all there, but the guy in the middle, we were all very happy because we were saying goodbye to Mr. Thomas. So he was going to read from high school, but luckily he allowed us to keep the A-Star Learning website because it was, it was him who came up with it. Okay, and we've also added to our team since then, Mr. Reedy and Mr. Keeley, who your children might know. Okay, so if I just go to the set of half-term tests, which we've literally, as we're saying this and doing this, We've literally marked them the last couple of days. So you'll see a couple of sets missing, but that when it gets emailed to you, all those sets will be up to date and on there. So you can see where your child came on that test, as long as they know their score. But having said that, we'll be emailing you what percentage they got. So that it doesn't matter if they've forgotten. You'll see that some classes have done better than other classes, but it is based roughly on key stage two results. So the groups on the left, will be doing better on average than the groups potentially towards the more right hand side. So that the key stage two result is the number at the bottom. So it's just be just be aware of that. Okay. And yeah, as I said, the average is there for the set and you can see there's some really, really good scores. There's some lower scores, but then obviously kids have different levels of ability. So that's that's not surprising. But you will see what your kids didn't do well on. And if you'd like them to catch up with the A-Star Learning website, they will be able to do that. Now, why we do these half-term tests, it's a really good indication of how well your child is understanding maths. So we will look at the key, uh, sorry, the half-term test results. We'll also look at the end of year exam. So it is important that your child tries their very best on these tests. Because in year eight, when we do set the children just based on maths ability alone, and we do that, of course, we'll be looking at the results in those tests. Set one and set two next year will be higher sets. Set three and set four will be foundation sets. OK, and that's what your, your child will do in year eight. I'm just going to hand you over now to my second, Miss Townsend, and she's going to explain our website, which you can look at at home with your child and hopefully do as well as you can in maths. Okay, 